Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCast, SOS.com. A couple of weeks ago on Earth Calling SOS, I reported on Hawaii bracing itself for the worst ever coral die-off, known as bleaching, because the Pacific Ocean temperatures are rising at an unprecedented level. Well, it turns out that it's not just Hawaiian corals that are at risk, but all corals are now facing the worst ever die-off globally. Earlier this year, the Antarctica recorded its hottest land temperature ever since the inception of record keeping at 67.5 degrees Fahrenheit, and January to March was the hottest Pacific Ocean temperatures ever recorded along the Great Barrier Reef. A massive coral die-off occurred along one of Earth's seven natural wonders. Already, an area the size of England has died on the Great Barrier Reef, the largest coral reef on Earth. The global die-off of coral reefs is yet another unintended consequence of burning in excess of 96 million metric tons daily of heat-trapping, climate-altering, subsidized fossil fuels. My colleagues from the University of Queensland and elsewhere confirmed today that the El Nino of 1998 triggered the first global massive die-off of corals, which resulted in 16% global mortality. Then, in 2010, they recorded the second global coral bleaching event, which was triggered by another potent El Nino. NOAA is now predicting an extremely strong El Nino, with an expected die-off of 38% of Earth's corals, or 4,600 square miles. OMG! Let me remind you that coral reefs are analogous to tropical rainforests in their biodiversity. At least a quarter, but perhaps as many as a third of all known fish or 8,000 to 10,600 species depend upon corals for habitat, security cover, and nursery grounds. Potent pain, cancer, AIDS, and many other medicines come from our coral reefs. The ecosystem services that healthy coral reefs provide us people each year is valued at at least one trillion dollars. Coral reefs are our children's legacy. Over the past 30 years, we've lost almost half of Earth's coral reefs. It's time to end all fossil fuel subsidies of 5.6 trillion dollars annually around the globe according to the estimates by the International Monetary Fund. The climate crisis must be dealt with immediately. Let's see how the Paris Climate Meeting deals with this next month. In the meantime, please reduce your fossil fuel footprint and support the okraproject.org because they're making Earthcast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.